Hey guys, what's up and welcome again to another show of Air of the Geeks and today I've got a review of the Ava Media Live Gamer Portable 2. First off, a big shout out to Ava Media Malaysia and they actually sent two of those. One is the Ava Media Live Gamer Extreme and the other is this one, the Live Gamer Portable 2. So I'm gonna do a review on this one first. So the technical specifications of this Ava Media Live Gamer Portable 2 is USB plug and play, power requirement is only USB bus power and input is only HDMI and output is HDMI pass-through. The maximum capture resolution is 1080p 60, supported resolution through the HDMI input is 1080p, 1080i, 720p and below and encoding format is MP4 or codec is H.264 uh, and the audio is AAC or MJPEG or M, uh, MPEG. Uh, bundle software is ReCentral 3. More on that later. Compatible software is the Direct Show compliant software such as XSplit or OBS and more on that later. The dimensions is 146.8 times 57 times 46.5 in millimeters and it only weighs in at 185.5 grams. Now in the box, there's the Live Gamer Portable 2, HDMI cable, USB cable, 4-pole 3.5mm audio cable, and a quick guide. On the front of the device itself, you see there, there is the logo Avermedia Live Gamer Portable 2. There's the button where, which you can press and uh, start recording immediately without using your computer. And then there is ports at the left. And then there is the volume rocker, which is plus or minus. And then there is a switch, whether you want it to use the computer, the micro SD, or just transferring at the end right there. And at the back, there is the HDMI in and output and then there is the power in and data as well and there is the micro SD slot. Now the micro SD slot is used for uh, PC free which means that you can record your gameplay without using your computer which is really convenient if you're on the go like um, you're bringing your console or something. Right so the thing about this Able Media Live Gamer Portable 2 in my mind, in my mind, uh, I thought that I would be able to stream in 1080p 60 FPS without any complications at all even when I'm using the right uh, everything I'm u I'm even using the ReCentral 3 software and everything but unfortunately it's not the case I have to tell you it's not that case uh, where it's easy to set up uh, it's not that easy to set up there's a few tweaks that you need to do you need to log in and stuff and everything that's uh, that's pretty basic but in terms of me when I when everything is set up I want to get it ready I want to start streaming and when I do start streaming um, the video it's not like I imagine it would be it's not like it's use I feel like I feel like it's not using this I feel like it's using my computer still to you know render everything and stream back to you guys because I've tried multiple ways like I've tried using OBS and then I've tried downloading new drivers downloading the recentral and yeah talking about recentral 3 Wow, that software is really not optimized. I am... It's it's quite disappointing because Evil Media has been in the market for a long time and they've got a reputation, you know, that uh, that reputation for streamers that a lot of streamers are using. But for the most part, if you want to use this as a recorder to record all your games and everything, it is a bliss using this. It's really easy to use. You just put in your micro SD card and just switch it to PC free and then start recording with this button right here and you're good to go. You're you're basically good to go. All your recordings will look good, will look smooth because when you're using the PC free, you're recording at 60 megabits which is really smooth there's a lot of data in there and be mindful because the file size will be big so yeah the price of this evil media live gamer portable 2 is over here i know i know some of you might say it's really expensive i kind of agree because in terms of streaming it doesn't really replace whatever your pc is and start using this as a streamer main main streaming device it's not i still feel like it's using my computer to stream because when i start streaming the response was late uh, it, it caused all kinds of problems the the delay in the stream the lag the spikiness the choppiness i but basically this will not replace your entire system for streaming it's a capture card that is a supplemental 
a complementary device to your streaming PC or your main PC that you use to stream. Unless you have a different PC that you use to stream and then a different PC that you use to game. That's a whole different story. That's the most ideal setup. So before I end this video, um, I've been through the tutorials, the guides, the FAQs, whatever there is on the internet. I've been through it. It does not replace your system. It's 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 funny because a lot of the reviews I see on the internet, it's all about consoles and they never talk about the streams. I wonder why. And I think now I know why. You, you guys, you guys know that I stream as well. And I just want a 1080p 60fps stream to run smoothly without disturbing my game. So when I found out that this could not help me in streaming, like basically at all, it's kind of disappointing. But like I said, if you want to use this as a recording device, this is more than sufficient. This is like really, really smooth and your footage will look really really great well that is it that is it for my review today of this Ava media live gamer portable 2 i hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much if you guys think there is a solution please please put it in the comments below so that i can use it maybe there's something that i did wrong because i've tried almost everything but if there is something that i missed please paste the link or whatever the, the the instructions or whatever in the comments below so that if i did miss it i could come back in the near future and do a tutorial on how to properly stream on this Ava media live gamer portable 2. so i hope you guys enjoyed this review of this Ava media live gamer portable 2 and um i'm sorry it, it wasn't much but it i think it was more like a rant rather than a full review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like or dislike, comment, share and subscribe everything. And uh, don't forget to follow my social networks down in the link in the description below. There's Instagram, there's Twitter because I, I really want to start using Twitter a lot. So please follow me there and tweet to me so that I can interact more. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video. Era of the Geeks, baby.